This is a HeadGum Podcast. Polo's got the monsters. There's orc. There's oh, nice. an orc race. Now as we now as we watch Frasier, I cannot help but see how orc like <laughs> Kelsey Grammer's features are. He has such like a broad <laughs> forehead and such a strong jaw. Have we brought up tusks. on the show how uh, how uh, how into <laughs> Frasier Emily has become? I think I, I ha- made a passing. I think I made an allusion to the fact that I've been watching Frasier to get hype for the live show. It's okay. but, yeah, but like to get, watching Frasier to get hype is the <laughs> craziest <laughs> sentence I've ever heard. We, we also we am. haven't talked on mic about how Emily loves the show Frasier and watches it every night. This is like very recent, but does not like the character Frasier and will literally scrub through episodes looking for Niles. <laughs> <laughs> which is insane behavior. We were sitting it's, watching. I, I don't. I don't. I continue to watch it. I just need to know how long I have to wait to see Niles. Well, it's respectable. <laughs> sitting there in bed watching Frasier, and I'll be like. Just waiting for Niles. And I'll see Emily like scrubbing <laughs> through the timeline looking for the little pictures. And I'll be like, what are you doing? And she's like, too much Frasier. And I'm like, it's Frasier. <laughs> the show is Frasier. <laughs> Not enough Niles. <laughs> <laughs> I just Hashtag need to know. It's like Niles. if you know that, like, if you're doing a workout and it's like, oh, like 20 seconds left, you're like, okay, I'll power through. So, like, when yeah. Frazier is yapping his freaking. Oh, man, Moonshot off. is Daphne. Yeah, yeah, she is. Definitely. Oh, wow. Bringing it back full freaking circle. In honor. Very nice. <laughs> in honor. I was also uh, going to say, dog. Kelsey Grammer, like, literally plays the beast in X Men. So oh, you yeah. yeah it's too. very Stunk Bug esque. Whoa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can we level up now? <laughs> <laughs> yes, just you though. Hooray. <laughs> oh, honorable Murphy. <laughs> if everyone calls me daddy and is super nice to me and doesn't daddy, make fun of me at all next episode. Up. Daddy. Can we have our levels, daddy. please? Daddy, daddy messenger. Daddy. Daddy, can I level up? I miss <laughs> mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy would let me love him. Emily always does an impression of the kids from The Fall, the serial killer's kids. <laughs> Just one. Mommy. Daddy. Daddy. Miss Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Emily likes the weirdest TV shows. <laughs> I want to just look at your fucking Netflix, man. <laughs> Give me your log on. It's only like three things, but you just intensely scrutinize those three things. <laughs> Emily gets so into stuff. Like, uh, yeah. right now we're... She, <laughs> she's giving me a look. She likes to have like names for things. So Mondays are meat... Wait, no? Not okay? I thought this was funny. Meatless I Monday? I can edit it out. You're telling me about Do you want me to edit out Meatless, meatless Monday? Monday? <laughs> Wait. Meatless. meatless Monday, one day a week, you don't eat meat. And Sobriya 3. <laughs> what is Sobriya 3? Three? Three. Tell me more about Sobriya 3. I don't know. Sometimes I go in on kicks where I don't drink, and then I like to give them little names. Like if I'm going two days in a row, then I'll call it two totaling. And if it's three days in a row, I call it the Sobriya 3. Have you ever got past Sobriya 3? Or Sober for 6. Sober for 6. Sober for 6. Wow. Sober for 6. <laughs> That's all, cute. Why were you ashamed of that? That's the record. <laughs> I'll, literally, I'll literally be like in the room working on something, and Emily will just walk in. She'll be like, sober, four, six. So I'm like, Please. Like, whatever the kick is that week, it'll be like, there'll be one show that she's obsessed with, whether it's The Fall or Frasier, mm-hmm. and uh, there will be some new kick, whether it's Meatless Monday or... Uh, I think, you guys, this is the, su- honestly, it feels like you're teasing her, maybe, but you just like the sweetest... Yeah. It's so, like, Murph is so clearly endeared by it, and you're, like, you watching Murph... <laughs> like, I feel like my cheeks are so oh, red. I'm this so... is so fucking sweet. This doesn't make me sound like an alcoholic though, or something, right? Everyone takes Sober days for off. Six? Of drinking. Yeah. It's not like uh, I'm like binge drinking and then like no, taking three days off. It's like you know. Yeah, yeah. No, you're no, just you, trying you to. Don't sound like an alcoholic. Okay, cool. Uh-huh. Just making sure. <laughs> Leading that healthy <laughs> living style. You are addicted to Fraser, though. Yeah. Sure, Fraser Fridays. And Niles alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a I'm a sin and Niles, <laughs> a Niles file. <laughs> so you are good at this. So like I understand why it happens. So the meat. Nah, nah, meat milk. <laughs> Emily did used to make a lot of hemp milk, and she had a nut bag that she had to squeeze uh, stuff through. Oh, yeah. And she had a Wait. hemp milk song. Emily, would you like to sing the hemp milk Give song? Give me a hemp. Hemp. <laughs> 
But no, no, no. The, the call and answer. I taught it to you. It was no, very no, no. specific. No, it's give me a hemp. Hemp. Give me a milk. Milk. You got your no, hemp. You got the, your milk. It was no, very I'm specific. I'm telling you, you are doing it wrong. It was, okay, you forgot your own song. Can you stop talking so I can say my version of the song that I wrote? This is yeah. not this what you wrote. This was a call this and is... answer that I set up with you. No. Give I... me a hemp and then I say milk? That doesn't make any sense. Yes. No, we don't. Know. <laughs> Emily, it you're messing up your own song. It doesn't make this sense. This remix. I, give me one second to say what it was. <laughs> um, I taught it to you. I remember being like, this is what you have to do. I say, give me a hemp. And then I point to you and you go, milk. And I say, you got your hemp. You got your milk. Why would I say milk? <laughs> I taught you it. Even if you call like, and response. I this is a thing we do now. I know, but like, even if like you're right about the song, the one that Murph's saying, it does make more sense. Because like, yeah, yeah. it does. Mm-hmm. If you but ask for a hemp and he says melodic. milk. <laughs> but I point at him so it's like you need to be in the room with no, each other I can't just even, say it from across the room but even if you point at me I still want to say hemp because you say give me a hemp yeah, you don't remember I had a conversation with you I was like no when I point we, at you you say milk I, if we had this argument before I would remember I, yeah like it's, it wasn't an argument it was like a hey this is the song I, I'm gonna ask for a hemp, a hemp but I need you to disobey me <laughs> And give me a milk. <laughs> I need you to be a bad boy and say milk. <laughs> give me, I was, think about it. It sounds so much better. Give me a hemp. Milk. 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 No. 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 It, it doesn't sound no. better. <laughs> it doesn't sound better. It's so incongruous. It's instantly, instant question marks. Emily, you know I'm usually the one to go with you on this bullshit, but I can't. I can't abide. I can't but go down this dumb path. It sounds so much better if you say, give me a hemp. Hemp, give me a milk. 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 You, got got hemp. Hemp. you got your hemp. It's not. That's it a good song. That's good. <laughs> That's a bop. I, That's it. Yeah, Emily, I'm with Caldwell. You know, we know all, we we hate to, to d- agree with Murph. It like, it really hurts. <laughs> this is the first time anyone that the crew has agreed with me. I'm ecstatic. I am like, so confused because to me my version is is perfect and your version is you are it has you are extra- insane <laughs> extraneous <laughs> hemp and, ex- <laughs> and extraneous milks no you know what you would need to do all right let's work out the song you would need to say when i say hemp you say milk that's hemp, yeah milk yes yes that'll do but it then that's you the can't come, then you can't slide in with the you got your hemp you got your milk <laughs> Yeah, you can. You can break it down after that. When I say hemp, you say milk. Hemp, milk, milk. hemp, milk. milk. You, got you got your, your hemp, hemp, you got, you got your, your milk. milk. It just really Yeah, you got to do it like Caldwell work. just did it. It's like, you got your hemp, you got your milk. Yeah, it's kind of like a roll call. It's like a breakdown. Yeah. And then okay, we would all go around time, in a circle. One more time. Maybe you guys will get used to it at this point. <laughs> okay. Give me a hemp. Milk. Hemp. <laughs> you got your hemp. You got your milk. <laughs> it makes no sense. <laughs> it goes against everything that, like, every every bone in my body wants to respond to hemp. <laughs> <laughs> When we would do the hint milk chant at high school before football games, mm-hmm. we would do it the way Murph says. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys agree with me. We actually had, um, we were working on a script uh, last night for Hot Date. We're allowed to say it now. The ending. Yay. Um, and then uh, Stefan Keir said, my wife and I saw the band of boobs rolling very large dice in Chicago. You may have noticed the very pregnant lady laughing all night. So it was important for us to ask, Got any good girl names? <gasps> oh, Egwene! Egwene is a really cool Egwene. name. That is um, a cool name. I legitimately like the name Jolene, but it is so Jolene it is, is so Loaded. inherently um, southern that it mm-hmm. it um, might not be appropriate depending on where you live. No, sure. I'd name a kid Jolene, and I'm from upstate New York. Yeah. <laughs> sure. I think that's good. I mean, I think one of the most beautiful names in the world is Cape Canaveral. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I fully agree. Thank you. What? Murph always looks Cape? at me like I'm crazy. Yeah, Wait, like Cape Canaveral. The full name Cape Canaveral yes. is Cape. Cape Canaveral. Like maybe the middle name could be Canaveral. Okay. It just sounds like it sounds like a person who would like helm a boat. Yeah. yeah. Canaveral's a cool name. I like Canaveral. Yeah. It's a Canaveral Levine. Do not <laughs> Do not name your child Cape Canaveral. <laughs> do name your child Cran though. 
Ooh, Cran. Cran. I was in a bag. <laughs> Actually, uh, you know what? Of all these names, of all the the uh, Bohemia names, I feel like Gemma is the one that uh, is Gemma's the most, good. Like, yeah, she's Gemma's normal and also Gemma, nice. Gemma, Gemma, Jana, Luna. Oh, I like Jenna. Luna's good too. All the uh names. Yeah. yeah. Appar- apparently, mm-hmm. I like my uh names. I mean, <laughs> honestly, Moonshine would be great. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mama, you can't Mama. honor anybody. <laughs> <laughs> you can't honor a baby more. <laughs> okay, you nutcases. Um, we're uh, we're here for the, the final scoop. Uh, I'm gonna need everybody to have a piece of paper. We're gonna do this final Jeopardy style. Oh, everybody shit. can write down and bet um, whatever they want out of their pool of points. Caldwell, you have 15. Emily, you have 11. Jake, you have 11. Um, we're gonna ask one final question. You guys all write down your answer. And hold it up, and um, we'll go through, and I'll let you guys know who has the right answer, and then we will declare a winner. Okay. This question is Moonstone Madness. I truly don't know if this question is really hard or really easy, but for some reason, (laughs) this joke always stuck with me, so I thought it would be a fun final round. I could see everybody getting it. I could also see nobody getting it. Wow. During the fight... With the kobolds of the keep, we proposed a new nickname for the band of boobs based on their habit of having (laughs) wet dreams while being knocked out. What was that nickname? I got Uh, it. Nobody say anything. Everybody write it down, and you've got the amount that you gambled already. Here's the thing about Problem Connor is he's actually, like, really smart, and if he applied himself, he could, like, do whatever he wanted, but... He all just right. feels strangled in the suburbs. Go ahead. Uh, Jake. You're smarter than all of us, Connie. <laughs> all right. Uh, Jake, <laughs> you said little stains. That is correct. Uh, Thank Jake, you. Jake, how much did you bet? I wagered 10 points. Wow. What? That brings yeah. you up to 21. <laughs> Caldwell, you also got it correct with little stains. How much did you bet? I wagered three points so that I could be 18 and finally get out of this deadbeat town. <laughs> <laughs> literally sabotaged yourself for the joke. <laughs> and you could have wagered more so you could have your first beer. <laughs> no. Uh, Emily, oh, I've, had, I've been drinking since I was 11. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Emily, you God. also had little stains. You were correct. How much did you wager? 16. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, you can't wager 16. Wait, you didn't have 16 points. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> wait, wait, what? I didn't know there was a limit. I thought you could do as many answers. <laughs> I truly don't know how to deal with this. <laughs> You want it. So well, I guess presumably I would have I would have done my max points then. Yeah. <laughs> what a, so wait, what an insane way to end did, this. So did, did Do you know what's win? funny though is I, I started out doing a ten. I started out doing a ten and then I changed it to a sixteen before we heard the question. So we would have still been twins. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. So here's the deal. <laughs> Since I've been a stickler this whole time, it feels so strange to end the game on Emily betting it an illegal amount. Why don't you just give me my so max? We're gonna do, we're Why gonna, don't you just give me my We're going to do a true final Jeopardy. It okay. is, the game is now between uh, Emily and uh, Jake. What? I'm part wow. of the drama now? This is you, you're yeah. a oh. huge part of the drama. Okay, yep. we're back I to moved drama. Out years ago. We're not twins we're anymore. Source. Problem Connor's 18. We're not a family anymore. All right. We're going to do this one more time. You can only bet the amount that you have. How much do we have? Though? You guys, we're going to say you guys are back at 11. Okay. okay? So you guys are 11. back at 11. This Amazing. is highly unusual. Okay. <laughs> I didn't right. know that. Like, uh, everybody could... bet how much you want to bet. You can only bet as many points as you have. <laughs> okay. We're both at 11? Both at 11. This is what's inside. It's just dark. Um, And he turns and he addresses you guys and he goes, Oh, you again. Ruining another one of my rituals. Ah, so we did categorically ruin your other ritual. That's good, because for us it felt like a Pyrrhic victory, but I'm glad to know that it was a ruin for you. Oh, it's, 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 it's a Pyrrhic victory for you overall. (laughs) <laughs> okay, so I win? What? No. <laughs> I mean, okay, look. I mean, I, I assume best case scenario is going to be a Pyrrhic victory. Shut up. You really shouldn't go at her when you're the thinking cap, bud. Everyone yeah, shut sorry, up. sorry, dude. I'm just like at... Take that hat maximum. off. Take that hat off and yeah, debate right, you me. You take your vest off. What? 
<laughs> Do I have a vest on? <laughs> yes, you see, it's a little vest. <laughs> you have a tactical vest, and there's nothing in the pocket. Yeah, it looks like a looks like a photographer uh, a photographer's vest. <laughs> Absolutely, Jeez. Donald Duck in it. Nothing having, on the bottoms. Or haven't had a ton of time. <laughs> To get used to this body, I'll be... I didn't notice the vest when I first put the body on, okay? Really? It's like all I see. Yeah. <laughs> you just see vest. Are there, like, holes for your wings in it? Yeah. Okay, clearly, my wings are out. What? Everyone's focusing on the vest? Everyone's focusing <laughs> on the vest. It's very distracting. Um, Is there right. stuff in those I'm pockets? taking... Everyone relax. I'm going to take off the vest. <laughs> he, takes, he takes off his no. vest. No, 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 no. You can't take off the vest. You committed to the vest. Fine. He puts the vest back on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, world building. <sighs> All right, well, you know what? I, I, I'm here to strike a deal. You can have whatever's in that chest that you seem is some kind of treasure if you let Clay home go. Probably more vests in there. <laughs> How many vests do you have in that chest? <laughs> uh, he thinks about it for a while. D- uh, two. <laughs> God, it's worse than I thought. <laughs> the best of holding vests. <laughs> all right, yes, all right. It's, 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 all, it's all very funny, okay? Laugh at Akarat, okay? Ruin another one of his schemes. What's your scheme this time, huh? My scheme? What's Gladeholm got to do? Why you got to bring Gladeholm here? I wanted to destroy it. To rule over the people who would surrender to me. Wasn't expecting you to bring in a Ladrin. Wasn't expecting you to defeat the Tarask. But let me tell you something. Moonshine Sybin, hard one Shorefoot, looks at you, Apple, real quick. Apple Scrumper. Apple uh, Scrumper, right. You know that Tarask was pretty easy to kill. So it was not easy. You know, yeah, it was pretty easy. Scrumper pretty much rode, rode him like a carousel. Yeah, it was fun, honestly. I, I was thinking about actually making a ride that's just like you get to ride on the back of the Tarask. <laughs> she bathed in its blood and shit. And yeah. Mostly it's shit. Yeah. <laughs> Take a whiff of this. <laughs> I hold out my arms. I help waft it. I control wind. To make the <laughs> anyway, now I'm mad. I get no like game type advantage in the situation, but I'm really, really pissed. Uh, I'm gonna swing my hammer at Akrot's head three times. Sweet. You know we hadn't even hit him that much. That yeah, I have fucking healed you for more than you'd even lost. Well, it's actually not true. I have the stats in front of me. <laughs> oh, do you? Yes. Wow, that's really, that's really good. Oh, thanks so much. So you're on my side now? I guess uh, we are working together after all. <laughs> oh, if I, yeah. honestly, if you straight up said to yeah. me right now, y'all y'all want to team up and beat Fiala, I would have a conversation about it. But you <laughs> took that off the anymore. table. I don't want to have a conversation anymore. Yeah, and that's why your, your head, head is going to fucking end in Put your head in the box. box. No, your head is going in this box. Your head's box. going in the box. Your head's going in the box. Put your ass in the box. Put your ass in the box. You're go- you're fucking your head's going in there. The only thing that's going in there is my shit. <laughs> now I'm gonna Go shit, shit in the box. In it's the actually box a really good way to get rid of waste. It. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, seriously? Have yeah. you been shitting in this box? I've been shitting in the box. Yeah. <laughs> Why would I not shit in the box? <laughs> it wow. disappears. That's fucking gross. Yeah. Why? You didn't lose a little bit of your butt cheeks. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> he sees him. He's been clenching his butt the whole time. No. <laughs> You did. No, I didn't. You, you I didn't. skimmed. Your I didn't. I didn't skim. I didn't skim my butt. <laughs> what, did, what did you get, Art? I take a gander on the side. It's yeah. He's, he skimmed it. He's, this dude's got a skimmed ass, man. Shut up. Uh, I got so I missed. I got a fifteen. Okay. A nineteen. Oh man, that Akarat fight was so funny. What, uh, Emily, why did you establish that Akarat had a vest on? I think it was. Oh, this is kind of embarrassing. I think I just pictured it the whole time because you were describing him as a gargoyle, right? Yeah. And you were, had been talking about how there was gargoyles perched. Yeah. We don't really know why. You just said he had a vest as if it was just something I had established. I know. So I think in my head when you were giving all that description, I my brain filled in a vest. Yeah. Like I, all of the gargoyles had vests. <laughs> I don't really know yeah, why. Yeah, were you thinking so of like... So then I think I was thinking of like Abu from Aladdin. 
at it or something or like that. Or the flying monkeys from Wizard of Oz. Do they maybe. Yeah, okay. Do they? they okay, have maybe best, that's think, why. Yeah. That makes sense. That, that okay. makes more sense than my brain would that fill that in. That makes more sense. Uh, because <laughs> when I said it. Abu, famously not a gargoyle. <laughs> <laughs> Neither are the flying monkeys. <laughs> the flying monkeys at least they're have wings yeah. and they're little monsters. It kind I of I don't makes know sense. why, but there was like, in my brain, I was like, they, they were in vests. And then when I said it out loud and saw everyone's confusion, I was like, huh. It, it was, it's what I'm not going to turn and run from this. <laughs> it's one of my favorite nonsensical gags from a fight that we've had in a long time. I think it might be now my favorite, more so than take them to the Grinch. <laughs> That was another one that we just found. Because usually the jokes have something to do yeah. with the task at hand. Usually right. it's like the, girl, you guys the ghost make, girl being poor. Was yeah, really, the ghost girl yeah. being poor. You really guys talking me. about um, Galad's deviated septum or something yeah. like that. That is all within the context of what's going on. But the vest was just established for no reason. And then it was established that he shat in the box. And then you were talking about how it skimmed his ass. And it skimmed the back vest. The vest yeah. I think I love fighting Akarat because he always is so low status. <laughs> He's always on the defensive. <laughs> Right, the things he does are really fucked up. But like when yeah. he's like there, like when he, he's, when he, when you're facing him, he's never that scary. And that's the thing about why Theala is so scary is because we haven't had enough time in person to razz her. Yeah, I think uh, Theala seems unrazzable. Yeah, it, it has been I, a choice I, to be as Theala. It's just like Theala is not funny. Theala is yeah. scary. And it does make her scarier yeah. because definitely when we fight Akira, it's like always like, oh fuck, this is gonna be a hard fight. This is gonna be a hard fight. But then all of a sudden, when we're Hello. like, you're wearing <laughs> Hello, and then he's like, I, I'm not, I, yeah, I'm wearing a vest. What about it? <laughs> it's just like yeah, it's the coat of the vest. <laughs> Weird. It's just a vest is such a choice, and then to make like it not, it's not a big deal. So, yeah, I'll just put on a vest. You didn't just put on a vest; you sought it out. Yeah. You just put on a t-shirt. Moonshine, you find a vest. But Moonshine created the vest with her mind. That guys, this is how you yes and. If somebody says you have a vest on, mm-hmm. you have, you have a, a vest, vest on. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was one of my favorite jokes. It's just so stupid. And in between. I'll, I'll let my mom buy this Teen Bop magazine from Stop and Shop. <laughs> JTT's on the cover. Yes. JTT, you may date all of my sisters. Are those magazines it. still around? I guess they must be. But like, I remember like Devin Sawa, JTT, just like all yeah. of like the teen heartthrobs. And it's just a magazine that has photos of them. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think there's like interviews and stuff as well. I imagine. What? I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll be straight. They were not my, my beat. So I, I never you picked more one of, up for myself, but I did have. You bon had it out for Aladdin magazine at one point. <laughs> Wait, like Wait. A, bone up like just like a cooking magazine? I had a cook guide. <laughs> As a child? <laughs> yeah. What? I think my my parents knew that I had uh, the heart of an eater. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, your parents just bought they, you like a Martha Stewart like cooking magazine or something? Yeah, they bought me a subscription one year to some cooking magazine. Or did you cook a lot? I don't really remember. But mom, I like the Backstreet I Boys. I think I might have just looked at pictures of food. Emily. <laughs> I'll have to ask my mom. As you recall, I also bought a. I also got a massage book. I'm just. Her. I'm just imagining I other really little girls it. just like looking through these pictures of like people they have a crush on, and <laughs> little Emily just like looking at blueberry muffins. Look at this too. Like the Emily Axford subscribed to Bon Appetit as a child, and her husband drank a cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> two culinary drink. On Cock paper, juice, we make no sense together, you know, because I'm clearly a cultivated uh, foodophile. <laughs> I think that. No. I mean, a cultivated that foodophile. Both... Someone yeah, take her magazine both... away. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you had a subscription to Bon Appetit, you're allowed to make As, up how old? bullshit gourmand like, words. You were like it's just, se- if... I don't make the rules. If you were like 17 or 18, it's like at least you could reasonably be like cooking or baking. Were you an actual child? Like how old were you? Um, I suppose I'm thinking of maybe like fourth or fifth grade. Okay, that's weird. (laughs) That's That's absolutely strange. (laughs) I did you because like I didn't cook at all as a child. Yeah, I I mean, I was. 
There's no fifth grader who's like really, really cooking. The I didn't cook until I, I was 32. Is when I was, the only <laughs> yeah. thing I remember is when I was a kid, I became a vegetarian and my mom was mad at me. And she was like, and she was like, okay, if you're going to be a vegetarian, I'm making meat tacos, but you have to make something. And she gave me a can of refried beans. <laughs> <laughs> so gross <laughs> i think i stopped being a vegetarian for a bit after that <laughs> so i have a, i have a strong memory of that cooking experience <laughs> <laughs> that's what made you decide to subscribe to bon appetit you're like i gotta get better at this yeah. <laughs> gotta figure out how to open this can of beans i think bon appetit preceded the refry <laughs> Anyways, it's so Rose funny that you, the- <laughs> it's so funny that you were given beans, like passive aggressively given was, beans. I was like, I would like I'm not gonna cook vegetarian meals for you. So here's my way of letting you know that you don't want to do this. I get wanting to support your kid, like being a vegetarian, but I also fully understand your mom's Absolutely. position where she's like, fuck this. I'm not making two dinners. Absolutely. She also at one point told me I had high cholesterol because she had high cholesterol and she <laughs> needed to start making lower cholesterol stuff and told me that it was me. We should, we should get your mom on a short rest sometime. I have so many Absolutely. questions. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would do a I would do like a, a mixed bag where we just like watch Axford home videos and come back and talk about them if that's We're not a video or camera people. We don't have many pictures and videos of ourselves. Oh. <laughs> this has all gone way off the rails. Of course, Roses and thorns. Of course. I would say Rose is gonna be the fact that you booby trapped an entire apartment. Um and you see that Prophet Gideon, his armor had kind of like dented in as he had been defeated here in battle and you see that his face is reforming um but uh-huh. it is even more translucent than before like he looks weak um but he does appear to be regenerating can i put my crack on his uh chest so he can't sit up your crock <laughs> like my foot <laughs> You got a gardening croc on. Yeah. He's, yeah. He's, Are yes. you trying to make crocs canon? In the I saw a picture of it one time and it just kind of seeped into my head. I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking. Tarragon just... <laughs> puts her boot. Her war croc. On, war croc. Yes. Tarragon puts her boot on, on Gideon's chest. <laughs> Read between the lines, artist. You all know. We all know what it looks like. We all know what. Why? Tarragon's why on earth you would want like. your cool hex blood to wear Crocs <laughs> is beyond me. Artists do not do not listen to her. Make Tarragon cool. I saw a picture of it one time, and I think I just internalized it. <laughs> you mentioned it so fucking casually. It's weird too. Yeah, I didn't find it at all. In my head, I was. I like, thought it was a term I didn't know. I was like, it can't be. It can't be like regular yes, earth I crocs. She was talking about like a place on the armor, like oh, the crock of his like armor, the, like the like the crook of your neck or something. Yes. At first, I was like, she's talking about some body part that I don't know what she means. Um, but no, she meant crocs. Um, <laughs> good Jack. lord! Oh so, my god. I'm wearing Crocs. Disgusting. Oh, cool. Everyone stop. <laughs> okay. So Tarragon puts her boot onto uh, Gideon's chest. Of course, we've got um, newly minted Ward of Serenesis, Fia Virginia. Cool. Unfortunately, Ooh. no. It's just Emily, and I'm the Ward of, I guess, just a ton of fucking just cats. Just like nine cats. <laughs> yeah, you, have, you actually, you have way more way more responsibility yeah it's true (laughs) right and those cats will reincarnate so you are gonna have to care for them in your next life they do sweethearts uh i mean i do have the theory that me and bowie keep reincarnating as (laughs) as human and cat and taking care of each other yeah you should talk to your head about that you should talk to your head make sure that that's okay we've actually had conversations (laughs) about how um emily thinks that maybe me and her aren't soulmates but her and (laughs) Bowie and also her and our our stray cat Stevie are, are those, soulmates. Are those, are those, Stevie are those is a soulmate. Conversations where <laughs> Emily feels more cosmically con- connected to the stray cat. I just don't think that <laughs> humans are necessarily soulmates because we talk to each other and our personalities are so. Okay. But like animals are so instinctual. I think mm-hmm. Emily's like we kind of chose to be together, but like yes. 
Though, which is nice. Her and the cats are star-crossed. But these cats gotcha. just came into my life and chose me in a way, and their personalities aren't as complex as yeah. humans. So, so they can't be mitigating their own destinies all the it, time. It's less of like being <laughs> devastating and more of like I do a verbal double take <laughs> where Emily will say something <laughs> like that, and I'll say, wait, did you just say that I am not your soulmate, but several <laughs> cats are? And then she will but we explain. chose each other. That's what's right. beautiful about right. it. Yeah, yeah so that's it's more like that. Like, I believe people could have more than one soulmate, but mm-hmm. they they are cats. Yes. No. Yeah. They're only. <laughs> in fact, they are only cats. <laughs> they're not. My host. I just think animals are more authentic than humans. Um, I'm very excited <laughs> to come to your cat wedding. Yes. Um, and of course, we've got and your cat Briss. You know, someone who I could honestly <laughs> see holding a cat wedding, a uh, Zerk for fame. <laughs> I, I think that uh, in the old days, Zerk and his mom definitely did some cat <laughs> weddings. That was like one of the mm. sideshow attractions for the Vervain yeah. uh, traveling carnival of delights uh, and apothecary pleasures. Um, but unfortunately, uh, it's just called Old Tanner. But I- Welcome back to Eldermorn, everybody. Eldermorn. 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 I'm your dungeon master, Brian Murphy, joined by Jake Hurwitz. <laughs> Cursed man who can't stand feeling damned in a mage hand, Henry Hogfish. You did it. You did it, Jake. I was super nervous. We could tell. (laughs) I was nervous for you. You know what? Bravery isn't when you're not afraid. It's when you're afraid and you still read your intro. Oh, my God. You're butchering butchering my favorite Mighty Ducks quote. (laughs) You have so many. It can't be the origin of that saying. That's the origin. Mighty Ducks 3. (laughs) No way is it the origin if it's from D3. There's no way that's the origin of that quote. But also, um, this is a crazy side note. But Emily's favorite Mighty Ducks is Mighty Ducks. Three, she fucking loves my <laughs> next three. I love Coach O'Ryan. He's so inspirational. Uh, uh, don't you know how. Not be afraid to fail. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> what is it, baby? You cannot be afraid to lose. I can't remember I, what it is. I, I hate the sight of you. <laughs> They're both perfect. Classic D three scene. Uh, everybody's least favorite Mighty Ducks movie. Um, and we've got the, the biggest fan of it, Emily Axford. Currently bereft as she mourns the theft of her favorite pizza chef. Oh, oh, being no. a pizza chef makes it so much sadder. <laughs> Brutal. Yeah. I know. That little boy, what was he doing playing with so much fire? (laughs) Emily, I hate that while you were reading that heartfelt intro, I was just thinking about the scene from Mighty Ducks 3 where the guy punches the jersey that's been frozen. (laughs) (laughs) Does that happen in Mighty Ducks 3? I don't really remember. (laughs) Yeah. Two and three really, really meld together for me. I (laughs) two and they're they're all knuckle puck. That's that's all two and three. (laughs) But yeah, three is three is if anything a departure. I feel like one and two blend together, but let's move on. Let's move on. It's not a <laughs> this, is, this is mixed bag energy this in the main feed. Major, major, major <laughs> mixed bag so sorry. energy here. Um, <laughs> my brain was plagued. And then, of course, we've got Caldwell Tanner. Zerk for Vain here. Thanks for your time. Now I'd like to share a little rhyme. I make beakers filled with liquids that I use to enhance. Murph, you should have killed me when you had the chance. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. The meter, the meter of that was interesting. <laughs> I'm stronger now. I've only grown more powerful. Uh, sweet, guys. Uh, gonna kill Zerk now. Okay, wait. Do you want me to read the quote? I found the, I found the quote. The yes, Mighty Emily. Please quote. read the quote from Mighty okay. Ducks 3. Listen, if you learn nothing else here... You learn this, all right? Because it's not just about hockey. It's easy to be confident when you have control of the puck. It's very, very difficult to keep that confidence when you got to take whatever strange bounces life throws your way. Don't be careless, but don't be too careful either. You cannot be afraid to lose. That's how you gain the confidence to attack the game when the puck isn't yours. That's how you attack life even when you think you don't have any control. And that's how you play real defense. Quack, 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 Now picture little tiny Emily watching this with really no no real world experience and just sobbing. <laughs> real <laughs> Emily, Mighty Ducks 3 came out when we were like 13. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe. Yeah. I'm still just saying it resonates still. Yes. Um, well, the quote I originally said was about uh, overcoming fear, and yours had a lot of hockey puck references. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think it was all about defensive hockey it puck. It was a I, lot I don't of even know if it was stuff. a life metaphor. So, no, it's about confidence. No, it's, it's about real confidence. 
confidence is having confidence I would when agree. the puck isn't in your control, people. I agree. It was a very hockey forward <laughs> speech, though, and I don't think you had any reason to confuse it with what I was saying. Very hockey forward. <laughs> <laughs> Get your mind off the rink. All right. We need to stop talking about Mighty Ducks, and we need to do a recap. Three. Yeah, <laughs> drinks elephant juice. <laughs> Who yeah, is he? Going to Griffith Park and eating shit is so much, <laughs> is so much braver <laughs> than being out in the wilderness. <laughs> this is who Coach Orion was talking about. Yeah, this really. is what we were talking about. And that's how you play hockey. Yeah. I also, also love that the quote. Um, <laughs> you can think it was really hockey was so forward. hockey forward. Yeah. <laughs> for you to confuse well, yeah. that quote for being from anything else is insane. <laughs> <laughs> it's also like 10 times as long as the original one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> also, I, I needed to really prep you guys, though. Right? I'm glad I, I needed to give you, D3 I needed to one. give you, because it starts out with him like saying something like, like, listen, if you learn one thing, you learn this. And that's like, it really gets you in the mindset of like, when's how the last time, this when is the last time you saw this film? The Mighty Ducks I feel like, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm actually going to say something crazy. It's actually forever ago. I don't think I've seen it <laughs> since college, but I used to watch that scene when I was feeling down in college. Aww. Wow. <laughs> Wild. <laughs> Wow. This is deep oh, Emily beautiful. lore that she loves Mighty Ducks 3 more than Mighty Ducks 1 and 2. Yeah. It just doesn't track at all. I feel like the fact that you've seen any of these films like doesn't add up to me. Because yeah. there's just like, there's no other, this is like the only part of hockey that you enjoy. This is like the only like sports movie I think you enjoy. It's a, a total outlier and I love oh, that. Oh, no, no, no. I'm a big sports movie. I'm a big action movie person. Oh, sure. All well, sports movies, movies and action I, movies are- I lizard brain enjoy. Sure. Right, but you're not like I'm, popping I'm saying in like Rudy. Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel, I've seen him skateboard, snowboard, uh, ski. Like well, that's she likes sports. sports. She likes extreme. She likes individual movie. sports. <laughs> individual <laughs> sports movies. She's not. You're not popping in Rudy. Em. No. Yeah. No, no. You're not throwing on Remember the Titans once a week. Right. No. God, my dad would love it if I did, but no. <laughs> no, your dad loves the. Re- Everyone's it's, dad. Wasn't it the replacements? The replacements. <laughs> Oh, that he always I mean, watches on, like on TNT. Standing up. Instead of no, my dad's no, I have one more. I have one more Emily Lore thing, which is today she was once again quoting. She always quotes Shrek quoting Babe because Shrek says I've that on Shrek. I've never seen Shrek. I have a friend. I have a friend who would always say that will do don't care. And so I sometimes <laughs> say that. But then in this, I collapsed the Mad Men quote, not good, Bob, with the <laughs> Shrek quote. And I said, not good, don't care. <laughs> oh, it is then, so it's, many levels because it's based, it's, it's, it's a movie that Emily has not seen, so real referencing onion. another movie Emily has not seen. So and yeah, then, it's, it's Shrek yeah. doing a babe impression. Mm-hmm. So then and we watched. I've seen Babe Pig, uh, Babe Two, Pig in the City. Amazing sure. film, but I've not seen Babe One. So more Emily lore. I said that's a Babe quote. She said, "What are you talking about?" And then I showed her the scene from Babe, and she got choked up, and she just goes, "I just got really emotional." <laughs> and then it's and then so she says, sweet. "I've never seen I've never seen that before. I've only seen Babe Two, Pig in the City." <laughs> So she loves Mighty Ducks 3. She's only seen the second babe. And Em, if I remember correctly, you had Chaotic. it took you several sittings to watch Babe yeah. 2 Pig in the City. Because the a animals lot of animals were in, in danger, trouble. And I sometimes yeah. that can just make me start like crying in a way that you can't keep watching. <laughs> why did you why did you want to finish? Um, because it was a really beautiful story. <laughs> The animals were in danger, but I knew they weren't actually in danger, you know? Right. I, I knew right. that they were actually, like, getting paid, getting work, which is really good mm-hmm. to see. Yeah. Those yeah, animals they were getting rich. fresh elephant turds <laughs> flown in. Yeah, they're not getting hurt in the movie, just in real life. Yeah. <laughs> no, wait, you don't think so, do you? No, George Miller wouldn't do that. No, I'm, I'm, sure I'm telling you, the love for animals in that movie, I have to believe that they are treated with, like, utmost dignity and respect. You don't make Mad Max and then Happy Feet. Feet one and two, and then also Babe Pig in the City, and not have a deep respect for animals. Wait, are you uh, fucking kidding me? The person who did Babe Two Pig in the City did Mad Max. Yeah, yeah, dude's That's, got range. Wow, holy fucking shit. crazy! <laughs> what do you guys think? What do you guys want to guess? <laughs> Babe Two Pig crazy. in the City's audience score is on um, Rotten Tomatoes. One hundred percent. 
Uh, I'm go say 99 because okay. uh, sometimes people can be stinkers. Well, right. I guess Paddington I'm, 2 is I'm probably say... holding the 100 spot, so okay. I'm going to say 99 or 98. Audience audience score. Oh, audience you're score. Right. You're right. I'm going to go 84. You know okay. what? Based on my Brutal. recent, like, I look up the books I read on Goodreads, and I I found out that I actually disagree with most of the world, so I'm going to actually say 12. Whoa. Oh, my God. It was 40. It's 41%. <laughs> Wrong. Yeah. Absolutely incorrect. I haven't seen Babe 2 Pig in the City. Uh-huh. I'm looking at the original pi- at the original Babe, and that has a 67%, which is cruel. Cause it, yeah. But the yeah. original Babe's really cute. It's a classic. The original Babe yeah. has a 97% of critics, which just, you know. Now I'm really stressed out that I'm like really wrong, and Babe 2 Pig in the City is like really bad. Babe 2 Pig in the City got in the 60s for uh, critics. So I think considering that audience score is 67% for the original Babe, I think just shows that okay. groups of people are fucking I have to morons. remember, if people can't appreciate the books I love on Goodreads, then why would they be able to appreciate the movies I love on? Right? I only go to emilystomatoes.com. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be honest, if I ever had to officially rate anything, it would just be like, 100%, I had a great time. 100%, I had a great time. 100%, I had a great time. (laughs) All right, a curated list. (laughs) These are good tomatoes. Certified fresh. Mighty Mighty Ducks 3 is not, um, did not do well. Okay, we have to, to we have to pivot back to the actual episode. <laughs> now you want to talk well, about I, the episode. I, well, now no. I want to hear the score. I, I need to hear this. It's twenty eight percent. Twenty eight percent. That's rough. It got, That's inaccurate. I see D three says twenty percent. Audience score wow. though forty five. There so you go. So the audience likes it more than the the critics did. Okay. I, well, really, yeah. I feel like I agree. Crit is now in session. The Honorable Supreme Crit Justices Murphy, Tanner, Wilson, and Oyama presiding. May it please the court, we have our first case. Are you all ready? I'm so Bring pleased. On. I'm yes. so okay. pleased. Very much so. Caden P. writes, may it please the court, my girlfriend and I regularly played the... <laughs> I know what these are going to be, and then I want to laugh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Emily, put on your bailiff mask. <clears throat> May it please the court. My girlfriend and I regularly play D&D with some friends of ours, and I normally help her create the character. The problem is, whenever the time comes for... <laughs> I'm not going to do this. <laughs> this Emily, one is great. put on Emily, your DM Emily bailiff read, shroud. Emily read this one to me beforehand, and I get why she's not able to get yeah. into it. Okay, okay, okay. Wow. Place okay. the iron mask upon your head. <laughs> You're right. Emily's just your job. Okay. <clears throat> the problem is that whenever the time comes for her to come up with a name... <laughs> Emily, you have to read it. <laughs> you can do this, Emily. You have, you've got you this. Absolutely have, you absolutely have. We believe in you. You have the to. The problem is... <laughs> okay. okay, all right. We're waning. We're waning. And just like that, we're waning. Oh, fuck. We just absolutely can't do this. This is about to be 20 minutes of this podcast. Anyway, come on, Emily. <laughs> Question number one. Question number one. She's crying from reading, like, two dry sentences. You... Okay, 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 okay. Okay. <laughs> At this point, you have to start from the beginning because yeah. nothing yes. is registered. Yes, right. exactly. <laughs> so let's go back. All right. Uh, we just listened to Send in the Clown, so I need to like go to that dark Yes, space. there's that context for um, you guys at home. Okay. <laughs> May it please the court, my girlfriend and I regularly play D&D with some friends of ours, and I normally help her create her character. The problem is that whenever the time comes for her to come up with a name, she always names her character at the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Please say it. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Edit this out or I'll quit. No. <laughs> uh, whatever. She always names her character the same thing. My grandfather's full first and last. <laughs> <laughs> One time I asked her what her character's backstory would be, and she said he would have been in the military and has two kids and three grandkids, just like my grandfather, and is even married to a woman with the same name as my grandmother. <laughs> I'm normally able to talk her out of this by claiming it would ruin both of our immersion in the campaign and would honestly just feel a little weird to call her my grandpa's name, but last time she seemed genuinely upset that I wasn't okay with it. I wouldn't mind if she wanted to play some sort of joke character or even some other generic grandfather. I just would rather she didn't play my grandfather. Should I allow my girlfriend to role play as my grandpa or am I right in thinking it's kind of weird? Thanks. What? I mean, what a wow. fucking doozy. <laughs> this wow. is like a copy pasta, right? That's, that's crazy. 
This is a, the idea that this is a situation that this person has been in twice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. twice they've well, been. Like, and yeah. they said every time, every, every time, time they try to and create they characters. played D and D regularly. And this time mm. it upset it upset the girlfriend. Mm-mm. This okay. is either the driest joke or this person is crazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's, I mean, you know, I'll, I'll save my judgment for later, but I, there is a wild space that this person is occupying where they're like, I want this. I can't imagine somebody <laughs> honestly looking me in their eye and like, and pleading with me to be like, let me be my, your grandpa. Yeah. Be your grandpa. I think the tell is that she's tried to do this like three times, right? That's, oh, that's, multiple that's, times. Okay, it's getting iffy for me then. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I, you know, to devil's advocate. Uh, look. <laughs> Okay. If she's gonna commit to playing his grandma, <laughs> grandpa, excuse me, and and just is really gonna dive into it and just really like be that character and different versions of that character, sure. Yeah, sure. you know what? I'm also gonna weigh in and say Murph's uh, one of Murph's grandmas was an awesome person, and like it would be cool to honor her. <laughs> <laughs> that would also be so bizarre. <laughs> well, it's just every moment where you like pull a detail, it's like yeah, yeah, and me and my and like my my steed walk up to the frosty freeze <laughs> where you win, like well, or the right. dry cleaners and we get a lollipop out. Yeah. It's like, wait, what the fuck is happening? I'm just picturing someone like rolling up and saying, like, ah, uh, Betty Ruth mounts her steed. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, it's no good. I don't like it. Yeah, do, I, wait, do they give the grandpa's name? Is no. it something like and then TPKing people after ruling against you in an innocuous thing. On Christmas. Yeah. On Christmas of all days. On, in on the, the Hogla days. days. On the Hogla mm-hmm. days. Okay, so folks. we have to, uh, we have one more nice one and then one more. We um, had to We had to sentence this DM. One more dice cries, but then yes, let's sentence this DM. This DM needs to, uh, uh, they're a Grinch, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're yeah. Grinch. They need to wear a Grinch uh, costume. They have to wear, mm-hmm. no. Full Grinch makeup. Murph, the Grinch is so in right now. What? <laughs> the Grinch is what? so in. We in, can't in have what? them wear. What? A Grinch what? what do you mean? Wait, wait, why Explain. is the Grinch so in hot right now? So in right now. Grinch is so in so right What do you mean? <laughs> the Grinch is so popular. Just say hot. Why? Cool. Why? Wanted. Desirable. But why now? There are I've some just pieces. noticed. You I've noticed, noticed that, that the Grinch. Is, you sorry. You noticed the Grinch. The in Grinch the year is of hot? our Lord, 2022. <laughs> The Grinch is hot right now. The Grinch is in right now. If you go to the cafes, if you go to the salons, okay. people are talking about the Grinch. About the Grinch. I'm saying we can't. It's it's a it's, it's too sh- good. We can't sentence them to <laughs> right. making them more popular, right, yeah. more desirable to the people that they want to have sexual relationships with. Why do you notice that the Grinch <laughs> Why, is though, more yeah. popular, but also that they're, that makes them more like sexually desirable? Right, do you <laughs> love <laughs> the Grinch? Do you I don't. Love the but Grinch? I've seen a lot of like really. Intense Grinch love. What? Yeah, but no. like in, a, in like a like a romantic. What? Way? Is, yeah, <laughs> I honestly have seen yeah. a lot of romantic hot, Grinch I, love. I have seen some like I have seen more than one like hot Grinch. Let me see your what? Instagram discover <laughs> show page. Me, show me a show me a hot Grinch. I can't. We're on airplane mode, so I don't fuck with the recording. I'll show okay. it to you afterwards All right. when we watch the Bills game. So we have to. We <laughs> have yeah, to, yeah, we paused. We've right. paused all social media. <laughs> yeah, we paused. That's true. We, we kind of can't. Go on Airplane mode. We're fucking. We're, we off, are watching yeah. our bills. Look, Wayne in the comments. Is the Grinch in right now or what? Is the I'm, I'm right with now. Emily. I've seen it. I've <laughs> yes! seen the scuttlebutt. Yeah. And yes. did the bills beat the Chiefs? Yes. So people love the Grinch's ass too. What? Oh. I haven't seen that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. That's... Moving on. Actually, we have a really serious one that I think is really sweet. The, per- and... the person mo- The person needs to Google hot Grinch ass. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. Yeah. yeah. And and print the results and screen print them onto a T-shirt <laughs> <laughs> and pass them out. And of then the paper. Pad. Pad. Paper in their walls. <laughs> and you go, go to, you sell them out of the back of your trunk for twenty dollars a pop, and you have to go grab people out of restaurants and try to bring them out to your car to look at your Grinch ass shirts. It says "Pinch the Grinch." <laughs> oh, that's really good. No, yeah, I want okay, one. Okay, so you are now an entrepreneur. <laughs> Shit, we just gave him an awesome business with idea. With an incredibly. <laughs> Unsound, liable company. <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, like sued. the Grinch is hot right now. Right. So like people want to pinch gonna, the Grinch. <laughs> you're gonna I, go from a Durango to a Lamborghini, no I problem. I don't want to get it wrong, so I'm not going to say which actor it is. But apparently, apparently. there's um somebody. Everyone on wants the, to play the Grinch right n- now. No, no, no. We're not talking about the Grinch right now. <laughs> somebody on The Sopranos, um, who played like not a minor character, like a, a middle character, okay. um, like a secondary character um 
uh, goes like shows up at locations that they know Soprano stores stop at and sells like a like bootleg Sopranos merch out of their oh, trunk. Oh no. no! So you have to do this for the Grinch, but I just yeah. so you have to do yeah. this for the Grinch, <laughs> right? Oh god, or Universal or something. <laughs> okay, okay, this is actually a serious one that okay. we need to give our love to this. Person, all right. Okay. God. Like, could you guys have moved? No, the, all we could have done was eat where the birds were. Were other people being harassed by the birds? No, no one else was being harassed wow. by the birds. I was. It's so hard because I already, I already on the short rest for a campaign episode talked about being followed by a deer. That's but it's right. so hard when like you're having an encounter with animals and you're like, I'm supposed to think this is special, but I don't know if you're gonna bite me. Yeah, they could <laughs> turn. <laughs> they could easily just be like, he has more croissants in his jacket. <laughs> I know where the source is. In like Cinderella music as they undress you. I think they're in his ear. Strip you naked. (laughs) No. Jake. Flying through the air. (laughs) (laughs) Taking me back to their bird queen. (laughs) Oh my God. Just to peck me apart. I think that maybe I am a bird queen. Yeah. yeah. I could see that. As soon as you you said that. that. Explain. (laughs) Elaborate. (laughs) Well... Um, it's just two words that I feel like I <laughs> I'll would you like here. to inhabit. All right, all right. Yeah, fine. Maybe I want to be one, but I'm not one. <laughs> Even that explanation is enough. That's, you just enough. that's bird queen that? behavior, honestly. Yeah, being a boss. Yeah, you don't have to explain yeah. anything when that's you're a bird right. queen. Yeah, like, what does that mean? It's like I don't have to tell you what it's. You give means. Emily a feathery cloak of darkest sable. She puts it on. She's the bird queen. Yeah. I don't know what I need to say. Yeah. She's wearing a cold Thank iron crown. You. She's Thank got you. a feathery cloak. Yeah. Her hands are talons. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> She's the fucking bird queen. <laughs> what don't you get? I'll hail the bird queen. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the bird queen is ready for the next question. All right. <laughs> Mr. Wright 95 writes, if it's so gonna give you a not one at some point to punish you for this, like Small you'll know pay. that that was worth, worth it. You'll be yeah. like, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> That's fine with me. Hell yeah! It looks like Murph is um is is drowning in the pool. I'm gonna I'm gonna revive him real quick. Help! I can see he's just down there. <laughs> Help! <laughs> <laughs> he's sinking. He's sinking. <laughs> I put my goggles on. Just <laughs> Ceremonial and stare also. At, I love just putting on goggles in a pool and just M like does, looking at the bottom of the does pool. Does full on like little kid <laughs> brings goggles like on vacation. Oh my See, God. I like to just stare right through the chlorine to strengthen my eyes. Like we'll oh, go in I a- I can't have contact. Lenses. In a hotel pool oh. with big goggles on. Yeah, absolutely. It's really fun to just swim to the very bottom and just stare at the bottom of the pool. I, can get I guess I seem that. insane. No, I agree. I do agree. Goggles in a pool is fun, but I wouldn't bring. I don't think I would bring them on. No, it's it's to the point where we'll go. We'll go on like you know, like a real coupley vacation where it'll be like a resort, and it'll just be all adults, and it'll just be like (laughs) me in the pool by myself, while all these other couples are just like cuddling in the pool, and my wife is just like (laughs) flipping upside down with her fucking weird ass goggles on, just swimming around, (laughs) while I'm just like drinking a margarita by myself on the side of the pool. <laughs> or if your leg hair, it's floating underwater. <laughs> it's weightless, Murph. Thanks, babe. Murph, you gotta see it down here. Everything's a little different. Take a go with the gogs. <laughs> Put the gogs on. Uh, I think someone will have to pity down here. <laughs> You do find treasures down there. Yeah. <laughs> My God. Uh, yep. She brings her gag. goggles. Uh, <laughs> thank you, guys. I should I should post it. Maybe if I could find a picture uh, for the short rest thing of Em and her goggles on vacation. <laughs> Bring your goggles. That's just yeah. good life advice. Uh, sweet, I guys. I highly recommend it. Uh, thank you all so much for listening. Uh, we'll be back next week with an episode and a short rest. Until yes. then, Caldwell, why don't you take us out? Oh, it's been a pleasure. Uh, thank you, Justices. Thank you, Bailiff. And everyone, uh, get ready to roll those goggle dice. Well, roll roll with, with, with the goggle, goggle dice. dice. Yeah, yeah be, he definitely well, didn't. This is also exciting for the 11-year-old because you're going to get to uh, walk them through uh, an adult experience for the first time, which is like when you and your sibling get together and go, what the fuck was dad doing? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. my God. Yeah, you're just like, what the fuck was up with dad? That was that weird, right? That happened to me and my siblings at a little place called Manja's. <laughs> What is, what is Manja's? <laughs> is that like an Italian restaurant? The, the way you about? said that, it sounded like everyone like was we going to know. Gonna know what you were talking about. <laughs> oh my God, you were at <laughs> Manja's? Like, you got what? a table? <laughs> Literally, what are you talking about? <laughs> you said that so confidently. 
<laughs> oh, I plead the fifth. The next question. <laughs> is it a restaurant? <laughs> Tell us at least that. What the fuck is it? <laughs> You a little place, a little place called Manjas. <laughs> you didn't reference what your dad did. You didn't oh. reference what you talked about. You didn't. You just the said the drama is flowing like Chianti at so Manjas. You guys, I'm just gonna keep laughing if I'm correct. <laughs> your dad was being oblivious about something. You and your siblings <laughs> laughed about it at a restaurant. Jake, That's all I'm we'll gonna know. need the next question. I'm just. <laughs> I'm busy looking up manjas. What the fuck is manjas? It looks like there's a couple corporations. Uh, they're a tax preparer. It, it sounds like me as look a 13 year old asking for the manja manjas section. Manjas restaurant. Okay. She won't tell us. She won't. <laughs> this is so weird. We must respect why, her right. Why didn't bring it up though? There's manja, M A N G I A. Manja? Manja's Italian restaurant? It's, it's Italian for eat, I think, right? You know what? I'd like to eat another question. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, my God. But I did find it. Manja Ristorante and Cafe uh, in North, North Buffalo Road, or Park. Can you ask if like there's it's a, close uh, to your house. Is there a section on the website for people that aren't allowed to dine there anymore? Yeah, wow. There's a picture of Emily's dad. What's going on? And a little place what did you do? Manja's. Manja's. Okay. We're going to do for manjas what we did for jalapenos. <laughs> yeah. We're putting it on the map. Um, <laughs> levels up and I lost a bunch of freaking levels. That's wow. tough. It was tough. Yeah. Have you confronted him about it as an adult? Because <laughs> will, that might I'm, be, I'm this call. might be a good yeah. guideline for what this okay. person should do. You want to know a yeah. good place to have that conversation? A little place called Monty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna invite my just dad. go there. I'm gonna invite my dad to everyone is yeah. confronting their dad. If you need to have a tough conversation with the person <laughs> who raised you, <laughs> do it at Manjas. That's their commercial. Yeah, <laughs> it's like an Italian guy playing like an accordion, just Shit, like just, serenading. Let's sentence this family to eat dinner at Manjas. Yeah, you gotta. Yeah. Yeah. You guys gotta go to confront your dad at Manjas. You gotta confront your dad at Manjas. <laughs> right. Even though we're on your side, uh-huh. so well, the dad your dad's is getting pay. confronted. The dad's yeah, dad's oh yeah, dad's, dad's paying up the tab. And he's getting confronted. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. And just yeah. like a bowl of spaghetti at Manjas, so <laughs> yeah. ordered. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> Insane. Insane. <laughs> <laughs> Emily, what was that? <laughs> a little place called Manjas. Manjas. <laughs> she leaned back up. Yo, too. Like, <laughs> just <laughs> slam dunk. There's some, Mic drop. there's some upstate New York people listening who are like, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> some upstate who are like, yeah, I've commiserated with my siblings <laughs> at Manjas. <laughs> okay, Arknon writes to.